Hello there, uh, this is Tim. I'm here for just a quick video. I just got my new iPod Nano, 7th generation. I have all uh, seven of them now, and uh, one thing I just want to talk about before I do videos about the actual Nano and first impressions is re a really cool feature I haven't seen reported in many of the reviews. They may be in there. I just haven't seen them. Uh, the, the thing to note is um, the new Nano has this cool thing, a play pause button, and it's in between the volume rocker there, and it's going to be hard to kind of show in this video, but the cool thing is it does more than just play pause. So this middle button in the Nano will actually do everything the remote does. So everything remote does. So basically I'm playing over Bluetooth right now. I can hit play to stop or pause it, I should say. I can also hit play. Uh, so single tap. If I double tap, it'll go to the next track. Broken my feet. Now let me go to a playlist so it's easier to show you the difference through cover art changes here. So let me go into the Genius Mixes and start playing some soundtracks. Okay, so here we go. I'm playing this here. If I double tap, it goes to the very next track. Um, let me load up it. There we go. So it was the Nano was just thinking. So next track here. And previous track is three clicks. So if you hit do three clicks, you'll go to the previous track. Two taps is the next track. It, sometimes it works better than others. I'm not sure if the Bluetooth may be throwing it off a little bit. But, um, yeah, so let me uh, uh, show you something else you can do. So if you double tap and hold, you can actually fast forward. You see a little fast forward indicator there? That shows you two taps and holding fast forwards through the, uh, the track. Now, if I hit pause, I can play again. Now, if I triple tap and hold, That'll bring you to the rewind interface. Now, um, they can be kind of tricky to try to get the, um, the rhythm that Apple needs you to do. But um, once you get it right, it's pretty cool that it does work. So um, I'm not getting it working now. Maybe it's, I'm guessing it's because I'm just not far enough. Yeah, I'm not far enough in the track. So I uh, fast forwarded there manually. And let me um, triple tap there. Um, so I caught the double tap. Let me try that once more. Okay, it's just not doing it. But at any rate, it will do... Uh, so what can you do with this interface? You can do play pause, two taps to uh, go to the next track, two taps and hold the fast forward, uh, three taps uh, to go to the previous track, three taps and hold to rewind. If you hold that button down, you'll enter voiceover mode. You can just hold it down once to get the song title. If you keep holding it down though, you will get into playlist mode where you're actually able to go through all your playlists and hit the play button again to go through that and uh, select a playlist. If you hit the up and down uh, buttons, you'll be able to quickly go through that playlist and have a faster ability to do that. Same exact things as on the iPod Shuffle 3G. And um, it's really cool because the last na Nano had a single button that did one thing. You got to select what that was in software. The new one does everything shuffle uh, the remotes do. So um, the only thing lacking now from the Nano is a microphone. You will need a headset for that. But otherwise, all the remote interface stuff is there. It's just on that little button. So I hope this have been, has been helpful for those wondering how uh, what that button actually does. So... There you go. I'll be back for future videos about the Nano and other things. Check out my book, iPod Evolution. It comes out January slash February uh, 2013 at Macworld 2013. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Aloha.